Amid uncertainties in the BPO industry under a Trump administration, a sector tied closely with the industry remains unfazed. Jackie Pasquale with the full story. Danilo Baldo has been working as a construction worker for 16 years now, and he laments he may have helped build dozens of buildings, but he himself has yet to have his own home. But Danilo is still happy because there is always work available due to the many construction projects across the country. May mga hiring talaga yan. Automatic, pagka may project dun sa kabila, kapadala kami doon. Colliers International says the demand for office and residential spaces in central business districts continues to increase and is expected to rise even further, driven in turn by demand from BPO firms. That's despite the victory of Republican presidential bet Donald Trump, who earlier said he will bring back all outsourced jobs to the U.S., which includes majority of BPO companies in the Philippines. Julius Guevara of Colliers says despite Trump's protectionist stance, he expects no major changes yet in the property sector. The BPO companies here uh, have uh, some very real fears. Uh, but, you know, like at this point, all we can do is really to, to wait and see. Fort Bonifacio is expected to have an additional 177,845 square meters of office space this year. Ortigas Center and Makati will have 13 to 14,000 square meters each. And there are more buildings expected to be completed in 2017, including in other business districts such as Alabang, Manila Bay Reclamation Area, and the North Edsa Triangle. This means more workers are needed, but Guevara says laborers are few and many construction projects have been delayed. The target completed office space for this year was initially 640,000 square meters, but that number dropped to just 500,000. For residential, only one condo project was completed in the third quarter this year, out of seven originally slated for completion. The lack of skilled labor, especially in the finishing uh, stage, you just don't have the manpower to do this. He adds a lack of construction workers may affect the growth of the Philippine economy. Piracy of workers in the construction business is also happening. There is now a growing demand for construction workers and they hope that the rise in demand will translate to a rise in their benefits and wages. Mababa ang ano ng pasahod ng mga construction workers. May pinapaaral pa tayong mga anak. Lahat kasi binabayaran at yung kuryente, yung bayaran sa tubig. The Labor Department has earlier said it is studying proposals to increase wages. It expects to issue soon a policy on contractualization, which is sure to affect workers like Danilo. Jackie Pascual, ABS-CBN News.